Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna make some lunches for the week. So hopefully this will give you some great lunch ideas that are super easy, simple, and really satisfying. They're also perfect for spring. Let's get started. For this first recipe, I'm going to use frozen vegetables because it's what I have on hand and we're gonna roast these. I'm going to make some jasmine rice. This is one cup. We're just gonna cook this up on the stove top, super simple. And then we are going to bake some tofu and we're gonna make it super crunchy. This is a silken tofu, extra firm. It is really soft. I love extra firm tofu. So if you want it like really, really dense, then you would definitely have to press this. It has a very, different texture than what I normally buy, but I really like it, especially if you do crunchy. I feel like this is what all the restaurants that I eat at use. And I think I have found a recipe that will be so good and really easy. So grab a bowl, grab some tofu, grab a plethora of seasonings, like what is happening in Miranda's kitchen? I know, I know. So I have some cornstarch, this um, hot chili pepper paste, so good. Green chili sauce, cocoa minos, mustard, garlic, ginger, salt, little whisk, little bowl. We're gonna just make this most fabulous tofu, crunchy tofu bowl that's gonna be so good for lunch this week. Let's get started first with the rice because that's probably gonna take about the same amount of time as the oven baked goods, but we'll get this started first. All right, I do have two sheet pans with parchment paper. That's my preferred method for cooking. You can do the no slip mats, you can do aluminum foil, you can do nothing, whatever you want, do whatever you prefer. But we're gonna get this up to 425. Get that preheating. And I'm just gonna slide this one over and start my rice. Also wanna give a little shout out to my tripod today, the grapefruit scented candle from Trader Joe's. If you find this, it is my favorite. And I did buy a few of them yesterday because they're so good. Also got those flowers over there. Um, on my broken table, <laughs> more on that later, but they're so beautiful. Okay, I shouldn't have said a broken table, I should have said defective, but no worries guys. This dining room table issue has literally been <laughs> a year as of February in the making, but uh, don't worry, I just got off the phone with West Elm and they will have one to me in the next six to eight months. <laughs> okay, so I do wanna say this did not crumble the same as the extra firm tofu that I normally use, but it start, still turned out really great, so it doesn't matter what kind of tofu you use. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add some cornstarch, about three tablespoons, since I do have two blocks of tofu. I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're just gonna sprinkle that in. Okay, it's more like a third of a cup. <laughs> doesn't matter. And then once this is in, I'm going to just kind of stir it with my spoon, and I'll let it sit for three to four minutes, so the tofu kind of absorbs that cornstarch, and it kind of, will make it so good and crispy when we cook it in the oven. All right, now that this has been sitting for just a couple of minutes and the cornstarch is really absorbed to how I like it to look, it, it just kind of looks so it's attached, I guess, to the tofu. Just let it sit for a couple minutes. It turns out best that way. Okay, add a little salt. You don't have to add salt if you don't want to. A little bit of ginger, garlic, cocoa minos, about three or four tablespoons or whatever you want. I was gonna mix it and whisk it and make it look beautiful, but we ain't doing that because I don't wanna waste it. Like, I don't wanna dirty another dish. Any kind of mustard that you'd like, about two tablespoons, I'm going to do just regular yellow mustard, and this is gonna be for another recipe too, so. Green dragon sauce, skip this if you don't like heat, but I think it's so good, and it just goes really well with all the flavors. About a tablespoon of that. And I've been really enjoying this from Trader Joe's. I'm sure they have it in other, like, grocery stores as well, I just don't know what it would be called. About a tablespoon of this. Okay, now that it's starting to look like egg salad and not like baked tofu, <laughs> mix it up real good. And then we're gonna bring it over to our stove top, get on our baking sheet and get it in the oven. Perfect timing, our uh, preheated oven just beeped, our rice is going. Gonna put a lid on this, set a timer for about 12 minutes. Turn the heat to low, put this in the oven. As you can see, it's more mushy than if you were to do cube tofu, but trust me, it's gonna be so good. Put it in for 25 minutes, 425, and flip it about halfway. It's 
awesome, especially with rice and veggies. All right, other baking dish, we're gonna go ahead and pop our, ow, that was hot, steam coming out of there. Our veggies on here, we're gonna add a little salt and garlic. Pop these in the oven for 25, about 20-ish minutes. You can roast them as dark as you want to. It's actually kind of nice when they are frozen because you don't have to add anything additional. The water kind of releases from them and makes them really nice and crunchy. So bake them as long as you want. I do about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and add in some prices here because I love a good price point. I love a good budget video. These meals cost me $1.66 a piece if you don't include the seasonings, but I did a quick breakdown of seasonings and it was about $1.85. So I feel like that's awesome. The tofu I got for $1.25 a pack. I used about 50 cents worth of rice since I just used one cup. And then the veggies I got for 10 for 10. So they were a dollar package, which if you do the math really quick, that's $5 worth of ingredients. And you're probably thinking, why did you only make three of them? Well, I could have obviously made more. I only had two packs of tofu left though in my refrigerator. And I'm pretty sure if I would have froze these, I would have got a better texture. I know these don't look pretty, but they taste so good. And as when it comes to how I'm warming them up, I usually put them in a skillet and reheat them or just pop it in the microwave. It does make the tofu a little less crunchy, but for a better term, it almost has like a honey glaze on it right now where it gets really crispy and the, on the outside and the inside is really, really tender. So it's really good. It's I usually make this with the other tofu I use from Trader Joe's or from Kroger. This one's still really good. It has more of an egg-like texture. I know that's weird, but like a hard-boiled egg. That's how I remember hard-boiled eggs. So I feel like an egg salad sandwich would have been really good <laughs> with this, but I can't make egg salad sandwich and what I'm making next too much. I am so excited for this lunch because I've been craving it all like forever, it feels like. And I just keep saying like, oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Haven't made it. So we're doing a chickpea salad sandwich if you will but because it's springtime and i feel like these are just so good we're gonna put on these for the week and i'll just throw these in my lunch bag and then have this on the side and then just plop them on here but you could do bread croissants crackers i feel like this is more cracker-esque but i love these from trader joe's picked them up yesterday and uh yeah if you've tried that like crisp biscuit gluten-free multi-grain something biscuit i'll pop a picture up here and you've tried that at Trader Joe's, let me know how it is. I would love to know. Okay, so we have some sandwich slims, um, which are just, they were on sale and they're really good. And I just grabbed them. Uh, banana peppers, garbanzo beans, carrots, those are for the side, and grapes we're gonna throw in the salad. I'm gonna wash these up, chop these into little chunks. And then basically this and some seasoning is gonna go together in my food processor and that's gonna make this beautiful lunch. I forgot to also add the extra grapes because as you can see, I'm using about a half a cup total. I also pack those for my lunch as well. Just wash them off and put them in another container. You're going to see me put the carrots in a container, but you're not going to see the grapes. So I just wanted to let you know that that was just kind of part of my lunch. And I only made five lunches for the week, even though, yes, there are seven days in a week on weekends. Sometimes we'll go out to lunch or we'll have like an early dinner. We've been going out more that it's nice out because we've been going to our favorite patio places or we've been going to a friend's house so like our weekends have just been like all over the place but i have been craving this chicken chickpea chicken i call it chicken like chick n not chicken <laughs> i've been craving this since i made my pantry video and that was over a month ago but i've been just thinking about this recipe i saw on tiktok where you just take pickles or relish mustard chickpeas and you put on a saltine cracker. And I don't usually eat saltines because I do try to eat gluten-free. And I don't know if they're gluten-free or not. I'm sure there's probably a gluten-free saltine cracker out there somewhere. I just don't know about it. But rice cakes to me are basically the same thing. But I added some banana peppers, a little bit of pickle juice, a little bit of banana pepper juice. It was so good. It just like hit the spot. And I end up serving this as two lunches. So I used half and half. And I feel like that's a good meal portion for me. It's also really light feeling. It's getting hot here really quick. Like three weeks ago, I ran a marathon and it was so cold. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> My face was frozen. And then yesterday it was 82 degrees and I got sunburned. Like I feel like here in Vegas, we go from like winter to summer in a blink of an eye. Like it doesn't, we don't really have a spring. Our spring is like everybody else's summer. And then our actual summer is like you're touching Hades, but I love the heat. So here I am just kind of dishing everything up. Also, I got these cute little dishes. You can't even see it. I didn't show you 
from the dollar section at Target for like three or five dollars and they're so cute. They're so spring-like Google Square ones. I will try to share a community post with a picture of it tomorrow with my lunch because it's so adorable. But this is like the perfect lunch. I went ahead and just threw the rice cakes in my bag and then just like kept them in my car because it doesn't really matter. But you can dip the carrots in. Oh man, this was like the best lunch this week being that it was so hot out. I hope you enjoyed these inexpensive, cheap lunch ideas. I feel like price-wise, these come out to about $2.50 is what I'm guesstimating based on the ingredients I have per lunch, which is crazy. I feel like you can't get to-go food for that. You can't pick up a lunch. So let me know if you're gonna try these ideas out. I'd love to hear what you're having for lunch this week. Drop me a comment down below. Everybody is always looking for awesome ideas, so share your ideas. Tell me what you're having for lunch this week. I will see you Saturday in a brand new video. Bye-bye.